to fix high CPU usage, open Notepad in your computer. Now, once you open Notepad, you can copy these entries. Copy this and then paste it on the Notepad. These entries are provided in the video description. Now, over here, you can see thread count, thread max processor count, and then GST render thread max processor count. For this, you have to change the value as per your computer. So make a right click on the start menu and then open task manager. And then you can go to CPU over here. This one is performance, go to performance, and then you will see CPU. Now over here in my case here, you can see course is 12. So it may be 10, 15, 12, whatever, whatever is your course number. So thread process count. So as per your core, whatever number is shown over here for course, for me it's 12. So you can type in 12. If it shows 10, you can type in 10 for thread max processor, processor count again. For me, it's 12 over here course. So again, 12 put, uh, keep it as zero, zero. And the last one for the last one, logical processor for me, it's 16. So whichever is your value, you can put it over here. So in my case, it's 16. So once you make changes, now click on file and then click on save as you can set it desktop. You can go to the game installation folder. You can save it to the battlefield six folder, but if you receive any error, in my case, I was receiving error. So you can, uh, you can save it to desktop, name this file as user dot user dot CFG. And then for save as type, you can select all files over here and then you can save. Now you can go to desktop and here you can see user.cfg. So you have to select all files while saving it. Now copy this and then you can go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, in my case, it's in C drive and I have the game on E apps so program files and then EA games, battlefield six. And now you can paste the file over here and you will need administrator permission. Click on continue. And once you have this file over here, now you can launch the game and that should fix the problem, but still not working. The next step is to now, if you face any problem, you can always delete this file. If you face any problem, you can delete it. So this is not permanent thing. Now, still not working, make changes in power options. To make changes in the power option, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, go to hardware and sound and then go to power options and then you can click on change plan settings, change advanced power settings, go to processor, power management, and then maximum processor state on battery. If this is set to 100, you can just try to lower it down, maybe 95. And then for plugged in also, you can change it to 95. Again, now hit apply and then click on OK. And then you can launch the game and then check. Once you are done playing the game, this is again, this is not permanent. You can go back and then once you are done playing the game, you can go back and then you can change it to 100 after you are done playing the game. And then hit apply. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the high CPU usage issue. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.